Hey friends, welcome back to Daily Sews and Stuff. I'm wearing my Daily Sews and Stuff shirt today, and I'm really excited to bring you another tip um, for using Affinity Designer that I discovered after I'd already recorded and edited my last giant video on Affinity Designer. So this one is gonna be how you can choose just one size when you have a pattern that doesn't have layers, and you wanna choose all the one size and move it to um, a new page. I've shown how to do it kind of painstakingly before, but I was looking for something totally different and found a really cool way to do this. So I'm gonna show it to you. There is a way to do this on Inkscape. I know Marta has a video on it. Um, and we kind of didn't think there was a way to do it on Affinity Designer, but surprise there is. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we have a AO file open that does not have any layers. This pattern actually does have layers um, in the projector file but I chose not to use it just so I could show you this trick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new artboard. I covered that in the basics video and in another video, so I'm not gonna really go over it. I'm just gonna pull out an artboard so I've got somewhere to work. And then I'm going to choose a size. I'm gonna choose this red one right here that's kind of in the middle there. All I've done is click one of the lines. Then I'm going to go up here to select i'm going to go down to select same and go over to stroke color click it and then i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to use the shift key and grab this and move it over here onto my artboard super easy right now all i have to do is grab my pockets move it over and grab all the words and move them over. There's a few different ways you can do that that I'll show you really fast. So one is you can just um, drag over the top of things. And as long as you don't select the entirety of a piece of pattern, just the words will come over. Oh, somehow we didn't grab all of that one. Oh, because it went up higher too. Okay, um, that's okay. Let's grab a few things here. So if we're not careful here, we could get that entire bodice that we don't want to get. So we're not going to do that yet. We're just going to grab that and that's going to get us all of these words. Since I'm using shift to move it over, it's moving it over exactly at a right angle from where I'm coming from. So it will um, line things back up for me. I'm using the control key to select more than one thing. And I can move those things over too. Another thing I can do is I can grab everything over here in the layers tab that has a text icon beside it. Um, and here, like I know that this is gonna end up being the size rectangle over here, so I can grab that too. I'm using, again, the control key to select more than one thing, and I will move those things over. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can click this, um, which is the last thing I want to select, and roll up to the first thing I want to select, and use shift to select everything in between. And then I can scoop these things over. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the, the easiest ways to do these things. we go. So now everything on the artboard should be what I need. We also got things like the size key moved over that yeah, maybe wasn't such an important thing, um, but the seam allowance did get moved. So we can just delete that if we want to or leave it there. Doesn't bother me to leave it there um, right now. So all of that has been moved. That's all the important things that I need. Uh, it does look like I got a few random extra lines as I was grabbing stuff earlier. That's pretty easy to just delete. Delete the random. Oh, we could also probably do the same thing. Select the same stroke and delete all of those. And now I can scroll over here. Um, we need everything in the artboard, but we can... 
we can delete everything in the layer and we're left with the artboard that has all of our important information and I've got some more things that I would do here like I would separate this out so that I had a front piece and a back piece um, and all that sort of thing but yeah it's ready to do all the normal things too now okay friends I hope that was helpful I hope that was a quick and easy way to grab all the size that you need um, you can do it again with a second size if you're going to be grading. I didn't show that, but you'll just select another line and tell it to select all the same of that, just the same way. Um, and then you'll pull that over into your artboard and do your grading and everything else you need to do. So stay tuned for more daily quick tips. And I thank you so much for watching. Keep watching my videos, like, subscribe, and comment.